All right, ladies, are you here today with us? Okay, I'm gonna take you, be prepare to be a little bit wiggly. I'm gonna take you to show you some chenille it. So, this is kind of what you guys have been asking about. Um, so this here, you can see the Peter Pan quilt. And it's been chenilled and quilted. Um, okay, hang on a second. So I'm trying to, um, oh, there you go. You girls are starting to get on. Okay, so I'm trying to, um, to video Roger. My husband is helping me video, so you can move that. Um, it, but Nate was supposed to be helping, but apparently he didn't show up to work today. Trying to. So I guess that when you are, um, I guess when you're 16, you can just show up to work when you feel like it. So Nate didn't show up today. Um, so thankfully Roger is helping us video, um, but it's his first time. So you guys got to cut him some slack. Um, hi everybody. Um, okay. It, oh my gosh. It's good to see all of you. Okay. So today what we're going to kind of cover is chenille it, which is this product. It comes like a bias tape. So it comes just like this. Um, I'll show it to you out of the package, but it's just a bias tape. You lay it down, whoops, whoops, I don't know why our displays get so messed up. Um, you lay it down wherever you wanna stitch it, and then you're just gonna stitch a straight line, or I use my free motion foot so I can do the circles. I actually did cheat. So if you have a long arm, you can sew it down as you're quilting it but it's so time consuming. So it took me a long time to quilt this, but I did add the chenille it as I was quilting it. So you can kind of see, can you get up close to that? There's the quilting on the back of the minky. Um, and then when you wash it, that's when it frays up um, and it becomes the chenille it look. So it's definitely a cheater version of the chenille it. We do have the kits for $74.95. Um, Devin says you're shaking too much, Dad. So Devin's watching. I don't know. You have a critique. Yeah, I have his devices, so I'm not sure how he's watching. But he did send me a, a message. So hopefully my parents aren't watching, but they might be watching because the kids are staying the week at my parents. And um, Devin says you are very bad at this, Dad. It's on a tripod, Devin. It's on a tripod. How can he be shaking? Anyhow, so um, so Devin keeps sending me these texts. Send plane ticket now. De Grandpa's making us work in the yard. No sleep, tired. So twice I've gotten that message. And yesterday my grandparents, my parents took them to the beach, which is a two hour drive. But apparently on the way home from the beach, Grandpa might have fallen asleep and had the cops called on him because he was swerving into oncoming traffic, uh, according to Devin. So who knows what the real story is, but as a 16-year-old, he is ready to come home, um, which I don't get because they have horses. They can go horseback riding anytime they want. They can go down to the creek and get on rafts and float. Um, they can do all kinds of things. I hear that they're going to be killing a baby goat. Well, not a baby goat, but they're going to be, um, there's a big goat barbecue at my parents house Thank this weekend judy. so um so um oh judy thank good oh <laughs> angel's watching too she's laughing at the whole situation um so anyways um devin says it's true what's true that you aren't getting any sleep that you're overworked as a as the new gardener at grandpa's and underpaid. underpaid oh the cop was hot Oh, did he take grandpa's driver's license away? Why didn't you offer to drive, Devin? You know you could drive. Anyhow, so this is the chenille it. It's super easy to use. I wanna show you the difference of what it looks like. Um, I know my husband's saying, get to the point. Why are you rambling on? He doesn't realize that this is entertainment hour, that this is like reality TV for the quilting and sewing world. Um, so this is the panel. Look, it's like as tall as I am. So it's a good size panel. It's kind of a vintage -y Peter Pan. So this is what it looked like before I chenilled it. Can you see the difference? 
So it just gives your project some, some your um, project some texture. And um, so we do have just the panel and we also have the kit that includes all of the chenille. But I'm gonna demo, um, Judy Devin does miss you. Maybe he'll come to back to work with a better attitude. Ooh. Um, okay, so it's gonna get shaky for a minute because we're gonna walk in and I'm gonna demo how to stitch the chenille it down. Like we've been trying to get everything posted and mailed out of here, but it's not going too well. Okay, so I like to use my free motion foot when I'm doing the chenille. If I was doing straight lines, I would want to. Um, if I was doing straight lines, I would want to. Uh, use my regular foot, but because I'm going to do a swirly kind of a rose, I'm going to use my free motion foot. So here's my piece of fabric. I do not have a pattern. I'm just kind of winging it. If you want, you could do a pattern. All right, can you see in close, Roger? You might have to... So I'm gonna pick up my bobbin thread. I always pick up my bobbin thread because I don't want that nest of threads in the bottom. So what it's gonna look like, basically I'm kind of just doing a little rose like this. On this one, I didn't put any fabric in the background, so it's just gonna be a rose that you can kind of see the fabric through. So I'm gonna do it a little bit tighter than I did it before. Honestly, because when I was trying to get this ready this morning, I forgot that I used a base fabric. And then I like to stitch with my needle in the down position, so when I stop, it stops with me. So I'm just sewing down the middle of this chenille. -it. So this is what the chenille -it looks like when it comes off the roll. Devin says, zoom in, zoom in. We can't see what she's doing. You don't want me to start cursing, do you? Um, so, Carolyn, I have Deco Bob right now. It is a really fine weight, so it's gonna kind of disappear. Um, Deco Bob is an 80 weight. You can use it in your bobbin. A lot of people use it in their bobbins. Um, but if I don't really want the thread to show up too much, but honestly, look at when you wash this, you're not gonna see your thread anyway. So you can use any weight thread you want, but I had it handy. It was sitting right here. So, so you might have to take it off the tripod just so you can kind of get a better see, a better look. So my, uh, so you do have to kind of untwist the chenille as you go, especially if you store it like this. It comes on a nice little round cardboard, but somehow mine has fallen off. I just can't imagine why. Focus it, Dad. It's focused, Dad. It's just keep Devin, if you were here, we wouldn't have these issues. So I'm just gonna keep going. Judy says it looks good. Thank goodness Judy's, Roger has a cheerleader. Bravo. Okay, so do you guys get the, get how you do it? So you just kind of stitch it right down the center. And then, I don't know if you can see up close here, you can see how it's stitched right down the center. And then when you wash it, it will look like this. But I, I have not washed it yet. So this is before washing, this is after washing. Hold on, hold on. I did not wash it. I actually just got it wet and used. Okay, you gotta follow me over here. Sorry, we move a lot. You would think we would clean this room up. This, just so you guys don't get excited that this is for Friday sale, 
This is all from leftover from last Friday sale. But, you gotta keep coming. But I did finish, one, two, three, four, five. I did finish quilting seven quilts in the last couple days. So this chenille does have a product because you might add chenille it to a project that you don't want to wash, like an embroidery piece or a um, photo or something. So chenille it does have a product. It's like a little brush. It just goes on your finger, and then you can just kind of scratch your product. So, so I could get this wet, and then I could just take this, and just scratch it like this. And you can see, even without getting it wet, it still is gonna chenille it up. And if you want it to chenille up even more, you can get it wet and keep doing this process as many times as you want. But the Peter Pan, um, this one I just got wet in the sink just to see how it would fray up just by using the brush. So the Peter Pan I did throw in the washing machine and wash. All right, do you girls have any questions about the chenille it? And I did, I did spray, pre-treat all of my fabric before I added the chenille it. I did pre-treat it with the Cheerio Magic Water um, solution that we talk about a lot, um, just to stabilize the fabric. So if you have any questions about Cheerio Magic and how that can starch your fabric, it's kind of like Best Press, but even better. Um, okay, let me get it. I'm gonna get a couple of patterns that use the chenille. Am I following you? You can stay there. I'll come to you. Okay. I don't know where the half chenille pattern is. Oh, maybe I, maybe I got this already before yesterday. Yes. Um. Devin's replying to everybody. Oh, um, Norma Jean, you do not have to use your free motion foot. You only want to use your free motion foot if you're going to be doing like a lot of circles. But if you're not doing circles, then you can totally. Um, Thank you, Betsy. Just do straight yeah. stitches. Um, Devin, Dad's not talking because he doesn't know he's allowed to talk. So here's some more projects that use the chenille it. This is a cute pattern and they've just taken the chenille it around the fabric. Um, that's okay. The quilt looks the same upside down or right side up. So there's some fun chenille it patterns if you're kind of looking into doing that. I really liked, I saw at Quilt Market, I saw this one and it's just strip pieced with Cape Bassett jelly rolls and then they just added it on to give you the illusion of the wedding ring quilt. And then this, I did buy all of the product. Um, it's just a wash away stabilizer and you just stitch on it just kind of like you were crocheting. Um, but it's a, it, it's a fun pattern, I think. Well, I'm gonna do it one of these days. So if you girls wanna do the lattice jacket as a Zoom class, let me know, cause that would force me to get it done. But then here's a fun butterfly. And where's, this one is one of my favorites. I think this one is so sweet. It'd make a great little baby quilt or a wall hanging. So lots of fun projects to do with, um, with the chenille it. And then I also did this one, which is a super quick, easy project. I haven't even trimmed the, the edges yet. But if you can see, it's using the 5 8 inch bias, um, Schneel it bias tape as the binding. So you can also use it as binding. We have a cute project that used it. It was like little bowl fillers with wool applique and it used this as the binding for the, the little pillows. But this was a super quick and easy project. I just did, I think four inch squares and then I just sewed five rows down. No, I did strips of four inches so four inches by the width of my fabric, and then I just sewed all the way down. Connie Wiggins wants her jacket. Okay, Connie, I'll put you on the list and I'll get that, I'll get right on it. 
as soon as I can. Um, but maybe September-ish, um, end of September, because beginning of September is pretty full already. Um, but if you are local, we did cancel the Shop Pop. So the 2020 Shop Pop for the first week in September has been canceled. So look for the 2021 dates. It'll be the first weekend after Labor Day um, will be the dates for 2021. But Shop Hop for 2020 has been canceled. Hi, Lisa. Is watching. Hi, Lisa. Oh, look, Lisa, isn't that the cutest bracelet? Thank you. Um, okay, so this. Norma Jean likes the baby blanket. Okay, Norma Jean, this is super cute and easy. You're going to take four inch strips. So take your yard of fabric, cut them into four inch strips. Sew just rows of this, um, of the chenille. It. I didn't even measure. So if you guys want, you could get out a tape measure and see how crooked I am. She wants to know, do you have a kit for it? I could make a kit. Yes, Norma Jean, I'm gonna make you a kit. Not this week though, but I will put it on my list to make for next week. What I really need is somebody watching this writing down all the notes for me so I don't have to go back and watch it. Um, so then you just cut it four inches and then you just alternate it. So it's super quick, super fun, super easy. And then I did, I put minky on the back. So Norma, if you want the minky on the um, back, let me know so I'll include that in your kit. Okay, so what else do we have? Devin says, wow, so sweet. Tells me, he wants me to tell a joke. Tell me Gracie. Is. He is the joke. Oh, Dev, Dev and Daddy said you are the joke. Um, Betsy, I'm glad that the picture's clear. So we got the new internet. They came in and installed it yesterday. So we should have a clear picture, and you guys should be able to hear us. Norma Jean wants the boy colors. And the oh, Devin says, was that a hint for us? That was a hint that you should be really, really nice to your grandparents and your parents and to all people. Um... Okay, so then I had, what else did I, oh, I know what else I had to talk to you both about. Does anybody have any questions about the snippets that I demoed on Monday? If you have questions about snippets and you want me to do, um, okay, good job, Christy. Um, Gracie is the joke teller, and Gracie, just so you know, I've gotten so many emails of people that are missing their daily jokes. So for mankind, the humanity of mankind, you need to come back to work, not just for your mother, but for everybody, um, because they would love to hear your jokes. Um, okay, so for those of you who um, watched Mondays, if you have any questions about snippets, or you want me to go into more detail about the snippets, let me know, and we'll get that ready for next week. But a lot of you bought the border prints, and you're not really sure you get a bunch of leftovers so this was a leftover one for one of the table runners i made so hang on one second because i'm not going to make roger follow me you can just pan the room and they can see what a mess it is <laughs> pan the room Carolyn wants to know whether the uh, Chanel patterns will be on sale Friday. Yes, I will put them on the Friday sale. Um, Devin, you were fired, but if you wanted to come back to work with a good attitude, I'd be happy to re-employ you. Okay, so here's a border print pillow. So if you've got leftovers of the border prints, I don't want you to end up with a bunch of stuff in your stash. Well, I mean, more stuff than you know what to do with. So take the border prints and make them into pillows. Um, hey Stephanie. What I had left when I did it was one row. So I just kind of made a big pillow to throw on my couch. And I did bedazzle it with some rhinestones. So if you need rhinestones, let me know. We've got a lot of them in all kinds of colors. I will put everything that we talked about all this week on the demos, I'll put on Friday's sale. That way, you can let me know if you want it now, and we'll get it in your bag started. Um, but then we'll kind of double check, make sure you don't get it double ordered. Tell Judy I'm retired. Judy, 
She said, be careful, I might have a job here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Roger's retired. He's just filling in until we can get some new employees. Because right now we're, um, it literally is pretty much just me and Karen. So we're down like two thirds of our staff, not counting the kids. So if you count the kids, we're down like five eighths of our staff or I don't know, one whole of our staff or whatever it breaks out to. Um, the daisy, oh, this daisy material, I want, I'll double check and see if we have it still. Um, oh, Devin says we do. Okay, let me go check and make sure he's not lying. So pan the room again, ladies, I guess. Hmm. Crazy. Judy Baxter, the big red, um, the, this is available. We do still have this. Thank um, you, Sandy. The daisies, I have, we have it on order again, but who knows when that will come. I have a 42 inch piece, so a little bit less than a yard and a quarter. And I have a one yard piece. And, um, but I do have kits. I have kits if you just want to make the pillow. Um, so we are um, still trying to clean up from last Friday's sale, as you can see. So if there's anything else you need us to add to your bag that we haven't added to your bag, let us know. Um, okay, so that's, that. I do, I'm gonna, um, if anybody has some good tips on how to add a rod pocket, which um, somebody wanted me to demo, Season wants me to demo how to add a rod pocket to the back of her quilt so she can hang it. I believe that you just cut like a piece of fabric eight inches, fold it in half, sew it into your binding when you're attaching your binding, and then hand stitch around the other three edges so that that would create a pocket. But I know some people leave like a quarter inch extra uh, um, so it doesn't pull too tight. So if you have any good tips for adding a hanging pocket to quilts so that you can hang them on the wall, um, let me know so that we can um, we can tell um, season. Carolyn wants the uh, daisy border, either one. Okay. Okay, girls. I will... Yeah, I will call and see when it's coming in to make sure that we can get Carolyn and Rhonda's. Okay, and if if Debbie who if Debbie is on the line who uh, made a purchase on Friday, if you could contact us, we just need to know your um, address and payment info. Um, Okay, Judy Baxter, the butter pins did come in. Look at, I've got it here to put into your into your bag. And how much of the big red flowers would you like? And Phyllis is telling us to cut your so season if you're watching, and I'll say it again because I think she's still in Alaska, so I'll say it next week. Cut your um, fabric nine inches, fold it in half with the right sides, pretty sides facing out and then sew that into your seam as you attach your binding. Um, okay, and then nobody has any questions about snippets. If you do, if you have questions about snippets, I'll demo it again. And um, I think that that was it. That was all the, the information that I have for today. The chenille it, super easy. If you want another demo on chenille it or you need me to um, go more into depth. Judy wants one yard or something. Okay, I know what she wants. Um, and then I do have, I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went. 
went. So I'll talk about that when I find it. Okay, girls, if you have any other questions, um, just put in some um, comments, and then we'll cover it on Friday. Um, we will see you Turn Friday. Once, wonder fill, do twist grip. What colors do you have? Oh, Connie, I did place an order for all of the colors. So I'll let you know as soon as it comes in. Yes. Oh, so Season, if you're watching this while well, you have nothing better to do, up in Alaska, catching fish and playing with the bears, you're gonna fold in the edges, the outside edges, fold them in a quarter inch and a quarter inch like a hem, and then stitch it so it makes a, so you don't have a raw edge. Perfect, thank you, Margie. Um, okay, so if you have any other questions, let us know. Um, otherwise, we will see you on Friday at noon for our celebration. And thank if, you, ladies, and for if you, being nice to me. <laughs> Roger says thank you. Um, and if you have any, because um, he might have to do the celebration. Whoa, whoa. Um, if you have any, um, Anything that you want us to put on the Friday celebration, if you know you're looking for something, um, send us a text or something so that we can pull that before the celebration because it always goes smoother if it's already out here and priced. Um, did I order, oh, Silco. I did order Silco too because I want to try it. Silco is a thread that Wonderful Wonderfill produces that is absolutely lintless. So it won't clog up your machine at all. So um, so I did order some of that to experiment with it also. So I will let you know as soon as the Wonderfill order comes in, I will let you guys know. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Bye, Carolyn. Bye, Betsy. Okay, package pickup. So you got to press buy.